so here you are in this virtual Freshers' Fair, trying to decide, amongst other things, that very important question, which choir should I sing with? My name's Richard Wilberforce, and I'm here to, if you like, sell the pitch for the Cambridge University Symphony Chorus, which I conduct. What is it that we bring to the already rich choral culture of Cambridge University in the city of Cambridge? What can you find with us that you can't find elsewhere? Well, firstly, it's our size. We're a big choir, and that means a big sound. And for uh, a big sound, we need a big orchestra to balance with us. That enables us to sing a whole range of large-scale symphonic choral repertoire, which um, is simply unavailable to the smaller choruses. So I'm talking about um, uh, Requiems by Brahms, by Verdi, by Berlioz, and talking about the Missa Solemnis of Beethoven, an absolutely vast undertaking for any singer and player. Secondly, is our, the second thing rather that, that sets us apart is our mix of membership. We're rather rare in Cambridge University for being a society, for being a group which welcomes not only undergraduates um, and postgraduates, but also uh, university members of staff, be they academic or non-academic. And in addition to that, um, we have a portion of our membership who come either as alumni of the, of the university um, or indeed just um, excellent singers from the city of Cambridge. Uh, uh, and it's that mix of membership which I think is one of the unique interests of this choir. Choirs, if you like, are whole communities in and of themselves. They're, they're, they're large um, organisms which require all sorts of elements for them to work both um, socially but also musically and, 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 and the sound they make requires not 130 of the, exactly the same singer. Indeed that would be rather a boring choir but um, vocal qualities across the range so um, if you like fresher voices, younger voices um, providing bright overtones but mixed in with that, more lyrical, darker, richer voices of more mature singers. And I think that's one of our setting points and absolutely one of the things that I love most about working with this great choir um, is that range of colours available um, to me and to us from the range of singers that we have singing with us. We typically rehearse one piece or rather one project for the duration of the term. Um, and that also is quite unusual for Cambridge. It, ena it enables us to um, really not only just get the notes in place, that's a given, that'll happen fairly quickly actually, um, uh, but actually to spend the time to get under the skin of the music, to, to enter into the head of the composer, to um, explore why it might have been received in a certain way at that time, given its situation um, uh, and various aspects of, of the music making which one simply can't um, touch upon if we open the score, sight-read it quite well and then perform it a little bit later. This is a different sort of learning, a different sort of pace, um, uh, which I find ultimately very, very rewarding because it means that we, by the end of it, really know this music and, and, it, and we take it away with us. This term we have clearly uh, an unusual term and um, we can't meet with 130 in one room but we have found I believe an excellent solution. Uh, we will be presenting three different types of sessions or three different types of content all of which feed into the same program and all of which feed into um, our learning of this program throughout the duration of the, of the term um, which will be a mix of at-home learning and uh, live rehearsals. So the rehearsals that we're planning are vastly scaled back, of course, uh, and um, smaller groups, smaller duration, uh, very spread out singers, which I think actually is quite a fun experience. Um, it means you can hear your own voice in a different sort of way. We're following very, very strictly um, regulations, government regulations, um, on how to achieve this in a way which is uh, initially, of course, following uh, it's legal. Um, but of course, is is but further than that is what we feel to be um, safe, and uh, that's of absolute paramount importance to us. Secondly, we have online live sessions in the place of Thursday night rehearsals which are led by me with the help of um, a vocal coach and a language coach who will um, help me, assist me in putting this repertoire together with you in your homes um, and with me uh, directing, if you like the rehearsal, it's, it's more of a working session um, uh, but it's an element where I can talk through the repertoire, we can play it, we can sing it, um, we can talk about aspects of what I suspect you would be getting wrong um, in, in a live rehearsal and just putting in those corrections incrementally so that by the time we all meet together um, uh, we have yet more information to process. 
Um, lastly, it's pre-recorded content which uh, uh, we have solicited from various um, corners of the world, in fact. Um, one of the great things about this sort of setup is that we um, are able to invite people uh, to contribute online via this medium of a camera um, in their own homes from around the world. And it means that we have um, a very, very much more varied um, array of material than we would usually for a typical uh, um, Michaelmas term. It means that we have a vocal coach giving a session on um, the way the body reacts with the voice, um, the way the breath uh, informs the sound that you make. And that's a whole session. We're really, really thrilled to, to, to present that to you. We have a eminent uh, Austrian conductor who's going to be talking about um, uh, the composer that we're exploring and indeed the relationship of that composer's country uh, to, um, its, to his choral music. We have contributions um, from other vocal coaches who will give uh, different warm-ups that you can use in your own home uh, at any time indeed um, and are, um, is material which can feed into your own um, learning. So with these three sections of, of um, material, live um, small-scale rehearsals, uh, online sessions uh, live, which will include opportunities for questions and answers, um, and pre-recorded content, uh, the aim is to put this material together such that by the end of the term we would be able to perform it and indeed if we can and if regulations permit that we will absolutely um, bring everyone together or as many people together as possible to perform through the repertoire that we've learned from these three different elements. Finland, Sibelius, this term we're going to be exploring his Opus 18 a cappella choral uh, works, um, which are wonderfully evocative and rich with their folk um, texts, and um, they're rather naive but um, but but very very imaginative um, pictures of life in 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 rural Finland, um, all treated with the most incredibly skillful hand of Sibelius, a young man at this stage, relatively speaking, not yet um, the great symphonist that he'll become to known as, but already we can see um, the absolute technique of, of a master. And, and rightly so, uh, these pieces uh, sort of put his name on the map when they were uh, first um, performed in the uh, 1890s. So. Uh, I do hope that this sounds enticing. I do know the um, great decisions that you have to make in this Freshers Fair and indeed going forward, and there's so much on offer, but um, I wonder whether you might consider us as one of your options. Um, uh, we've got a really exciting term. We are a great team of singers um, with a great communal spirit, um, and I'd love it if you were interested um, for you to fill in the application form, um, uh, which you'll find uh, I usually point there, don't I, or there, or there, somewhere <laughs> on this page, um, in which I've, I've asked you to detail your singing experience, including singing lessons, singing in choirs. Um, tell us really much about, as much about you um, as possible. In usual circumstances, we would audition you, but um, we feel that that's not um, advisable given the current circumstances. So this is in lieu of that. Um, be honest. Uh, it, it, it's for your sake, um, that you end up in a choir which is perfectly suited to your um, ability. Uh, and if you find actually that you are um, not quite at the right level in terms of the experience you have, you might find the experience not as rewarding um, uh, as all that. That's it from me. Uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to this. Enjoy the rest of your Freshers' Fair and um, I look forward to seeing some of you before long. Thank you.